Shalom and welcome to Inside the Times and Seasons, a linguistic analysis of the names of the appointed times of Yahweh. Today we'll begin talking about the Feast of Weeks. The Colonel says, Hebrew is a dense language for dense people. A dense language means the meaning for each word is encoded in the letters of the word. This is an idea that's unique to Hebrew. Each letter has a picture and those pictures put together help us to understand the word. There is also a system of related roots that gives a deeper meaning to each word and that is what we will be concerned with. Also the grammar of the language compresses many ideas into one word unit and uh, we're covering that in a different series. A dense people means so this is a festival of weeks. In Hebrew, it's called Shavuot. It is the center of the festivals. We have three festivals, which we've already covered in our early spring. Shavuot occurs close to the middle of the summer of the harvest time. And then we have the fall festivals, which appear uh, in the fall. Shavuot occurs after we've counted the Omer for seven weeks and we come to the 50th day and so it's sometimes called Pentecost in English. Pentecost means 50. There are three different names for this uh, festival week such as Shavuot, Bikurim which means first fruits and Hakatsir which means a harvest. So we'll cover all those different names in this uh, presentation. And we always want to remember that every festival occasion is considered to be a remembrance from the exodus from Egypt. Shavuot comes from a word Shavua, which is a period of seven days or years. Genesis 29, 28. And Jacob did so and fulfilled her week, and he gave him Rachel, his daughter, to wife also. Remember that Jacob had wanted to marry Rachel and he was tricked. Uh, he received Leah as his wife, and so there's a marital week that he fulfills with her. And then probably he got Rachel right after that, but continued to work for another seven years. Ezekiel 45:21. In the first month, in the 14th day of the month, you shall have a Passover, a feast of seven, literally seven days to make a week. Unleavened bread shall be eaten. So even though the word appears here as Shavuot, it's referring to Passover. It means the seven days. Uh, they all come from a number, Sheva, which is the number seven, and it's considered to be a sacred number. Genesis 7-2. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens, the male and his female, and of beasts that are not clean by two, the male and his female. Zechariah 4 2 and said unto me what seest thou and I said I have looked and behold a candlestick all of gold with a bowl upon the top of it and his seven lamps thereon and seven pipes to the seven lamps which are upon the top thereof so it's describing the what we call the menorah it has seven candlesticks and you see when we have the icon at the beginning of the series that there is a menorah there and each of the feasts is pictured as one candlestick on that menorah. These are the seven lamps. The root also ex by extension means to swear uh, because oaths are considered to be sacred. Genesis 24 9 and the servant put his hand under the thigh of Abraham his master and swear to him concerning that matter. Psalm 89:35. Once I have sworn by my holiness that I will not lie unto David. So it is the same root, Shinvet I. In a noun form, Shivua, the accent shifts from Shavua to Shivua, we see that it is an oath or a promise. In 2 Samuel 21:7, but the king spared Mephibosheth the son of Jonathan and the son of Saul because of Yahweh's oath that was between them, between David and Jonathan, the son of Saul. In Jeremiah 11:15, that I may perform the oath which I have sworn unto your fathers 
to give them a land flowing with milk and honey, as it is to this day. Then answered I and said, So be it, O Yahweh. So we're going to look at some of the cognate roots for uh, Shavuah. And remember that these are roots which are related to each other by linguistics rules of sound shift. Some of the cognate roots of Sheva are Sava with a Sin, Sin Vet Ayin, Shabach, Shin Bet Chet, and Tseva, Tzadi Vet Ayin. Sava means to be full or to be satisfied. Deuteronomy 8.10 When thou hast eaten and art full, then thou shalt bless Yahweh your God for the good land which he has given to you. Psalm 17.15 As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. Proverbs 30.15 There are three things that are never satisfied. Yea, four things. Say not. It is enough. In verse 16, the grave, in the barren womb, the earth that is not filled with water, and the fire that saith not, it is enough. The root Shabbach means to praise, Psalm 63:3, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Tzava means to be colored uh, as by dye. Judges 5.30 Have they not sped? Have they not divided the prey to every man a damsel or two? To Sisera a prey of diverse colors, a prey of diverse colors of needlework, of diverse colors of needlework on both sides, meat for the necks of them that takes the spoil. Now we come to another, the second of the names for this holiday, which is Chag HaKatsir, the festival of the harvest. Exodus 23.16 and the feast of harvest, the first fruits of thy labors, which thou hast sown in the field, and the feast of ingathering, which is in the end of the year, when thou hast gathered in thy labors out of the field. This is uh, behind uh, Exodus 23:15, which is talking about Passover. And these three holidays together are the holidays which all the men were required to go up to Jerusalem. They are Passover this festival of weeks, this festival of the harvest, and then the festival in gathering, Pesach, Shavuot, and Sukkot. These are the three holidays that are mentioned for the requirement to go up to Jerusalem. The name Katsir comes from a root Katsar, which means to be short, shorten, and by extension to reap or harvest. Proverbs 10:27. The fear of Yahweh prolongeth days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. Isaiah 59, 1. Behold, Yahweh's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. Leviticus 19, 9. When ye reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not wholly reap the corners of thy field, neither shalt thou gather the gleanings of thy harvest. Ruth 2, 5. Then said Boaz unto his servant that was set over the reapers, Whose damsel is this? A parent root is a two-letter phoneme, which is a sound, which expresses an idea but may not be a word by itself. The parent root for Ketsar is Ketz, Kuftsadi, and it is a word by itself. It means end of space or time. Genesis 6.13 And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. In Psalm 119.96 I have seen an end of all perfection, but thy commandment is exceedingly broad.